It's a pleasure to introduce the uh, governor of the great state of North Dakota, Governor Jack Dalrymple, heads up our ex executive branch for our state uh, government. It's a pleasure to have you and Betsy on our campus today, so please come up and uh, you're with friends. It's just a, a pleasure to be up here today because once in a while uh, you get to come around carrying just good news. The first occasion for our visit is the signing of the budget bill for the North Dakota Department of Commerce. Forty-six million dollars uh, and that's uh, in this little piece of paper over here. Many, many things uh, that help uh, not only this area but the whole state in economic development. But within that package, um, I've got to put right up at the top of the list uh, more than $10 million uh, to develop our UAS industry. And that's an incredible achievement uh, for something that is so new in North Dakota, so new in the country and in the world. And uh, we feel that we are absolutely at the leading edge of this. And especially uh, the development of the Grand Sky Park, uh, seven and a half million dollars for that purpose, um, infrastructure development uh, for that uh, very, very important park. This is where the commercial uh, side of this takes place. This is where, you know, the jobs are created. Uh, this, is, this is where the real benefit comes back to uh, the North Dakota economy. We also got four and a half million dollars for research and D, and uh, hopefully about half of that uh, will wind up uh, at the University of North Dakota. Uh, we've got 2.7 million for the Northern Plains test site itself for operations. Uh, we've got uh, three and a quarter million for entrepreneurship grants. And I know that uh, the Center for Entrepreneurship uh, is going to uh, certainly get uh, some good participation in that program. Uh, all in all, uh, a great uh, budget for the Department of Commerce and uh, something that was really uh, nurtured through the process by your legislators. We have uh, 17.6 million dollars in formula funding for campus operations at the University of North Dakota. Uh, the new formula does work, uh, especially if you have enrollment growth and uh, it worked the way it was supposed to work as you, do, as you put out more successful student credit hours, you get more money. What, what a, a logical way of doing it. And I think uh, it's, it's working well for, for UND, and congratulations, uh, Mr. President, on, on the confidence that people have in that. Uh, I have to point out again and again uh, that we do get credit for the other half of the School of Medicine, $62 million to finish the job. And people try to tell me, oh, I thought we got that last time. And I remind them, no, you still needed the second half this time, and it's, it's never easy uh, to get uh, a vote for 62 million. So uh, congratulations on that. Uh, the airport needed uh, uh, a new apron, and um, that is a tough sell uh, because people feel like the airport should pay their own expenses or somehow the aviation school should pay for their students, uh, uh, a county should pay for it. Why, why in the world should the state of North Dakota pay for that? Well, we are always the, you know, a source of last resort. And uh, we stood up when uh, no one else would. And uh, $6 million uh, to get going on the apron project uh, at the airport. And there'll be two more installments after that. And the state of North Dakota uh, is doing that job. $7 million in higher education uh, challenge fund matching grants. Uh, as you know, it's been very successful uh, at UND. Uh, that means there's uh, going to be another $14 million out there someplace uh, that's going to match up with that and do some amazing things for the university. $13.6 million for the expansion and uh, rebuilding of the core library the Wilson M. Laird Core Library, to be exact. And uh, those of you who are familiar with that know that that is a world-class uh, asset of the state of North Dakota. 
uh, combined with our new petroleum engineering and geological engineering degree and uh, the building that is adjacent to it, uh, it becomes a, a true world-class complex uh, for people who want to research uh, these uh, very valuable cores that we have. Uh, the governor outlined beautifully how the University of North Dakota is benefiting from a great deal of commitment, a great deal of hard work on behalf of all of us in the executive and legislative branches. And on behalf of the university, uh, I just want to say thanks. And the thanks, I think, is the uh, vote of confidence that you give to the faculty, the staff, the students here at the University of North Dakota in funding these requests and helping us with the work that we do on behalf of the state of North Dakota and indeed the entire nation here at the university. So thank you for that commitment. Thank you for that confidence. Uh, about a month or so ago, the president of the uh, Federal Reserve uh, out of uh, Minneapolis came to Bismarck and talked about North Dakota is an energy state, North Dakota is an agriculture state, but it needs to continue the diversification. And that is what we see in uh, this bill uh, with Grand Sky and the enhanced use lease. But it is Christmas in Grand Forks in May. We really appreciate all the hard work that went into this to make our city such a great place to live, learn, work, play, and stay. And it's a, it's a team effort. And I appreciate the team we have working with us and for us. And so with that, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. Congratulations.